guys saw my title, yes, I may be doing a giveaway. So in the last uh, Airsoft vlog I had, which uh, I promise will be a lot better next time, um, it was really dark and all, but you guys saw my setup. I didn't really go into extreme detail in it, and I didn't really, you know, show you guys a lot, but there it is. Three puck antennas. I love it. Um, yeah, but in this little short video, I'm going to be telling you guys, uh, you know, how I did them, how I mounted them, and uh, what the giveaway is all about. But uh, first, we're going to talk about these, how I mounted them. Now, these aren't really mounted in. They're just magnetic. And I'll show you guys how I did this. Obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll just explain it for, you know, some people who maybe want to do this and uh, put this on your car. What's good about magnets, too, is you can switch them up. If I don't want it here in a couple of months or something, I want to take these off. I can take this one off, leave those two, even though it looks retarded, but... Uh, I could put it wherever I want, you know, I could switch them up, I could put them on the roof. Um, that's what's the good thing about magnets. So there it is, my official trunk setup for now. My low jack setup, the four antennas with a cylinder puck in the middle. Or I might just do one of these pucks, but I think I already have too many of these. I think a fourth one would look too weird up there. Love it, I love the way it came out, it's really awesome. They hold up great as well. Um, we had snow the last couple of days, as you guys can see, fresh snow. Snow didn't phase it, the cold weather didn't phase it, wind didn't phase it, it didn't slide on the highway or anything, it held up great. So I'm going to show you guys what to use if you guys do have pucks and you want to stick them on like me. So let's go inside and let's talk about that in the giveaway. Alright guys, so here's what the pucks originally looked like. Well this one had a bolt on it, which I still have to cut. But um, these are what the pucks look like. If you ever go to a junkyard or something, you're going to rip it off, that's what it's going to look like, okay? And obviously it's going to have wires sticking out of it. I cut the wires off. Now the first step, obviously, is to trim the wires off and take all this adhesive glue off of it. Now you could probably, if you really wanted to stick them on there for good and like leave them on there, you could rip off this adhesive, put a new um, circular strip of that adhesive and leave it on there for good. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted it magnetic so I can move it around wherever I want. So that's the first step. You've got to rip everything off. Once you rip everything off, it's going to look like this. I put a little bit of piece of tape over it just so that it won't scratch your car, even though this doesn't reach. But uh, you can also trim it down as much as you want. You could take off the rubber seal and you can get down there with scissors and trim it down as close as possible. But uh, that's good. The magnets usually stick above it. I'll show you guys in a minute what magnets to buy and what glue to use. All right, guys. So this is the, uh, the glue that you want to use. This is the one that I use. All-purpose crazy glue. Don't get indoor crazy glue. Don't get um, crafting crazy glue. Make sure it's all-purpose crazy glue. Um, it's a small little tube. If I can open it up. There it is. It's a small little tube, but it's enough to get the job done. Next, you want to buy these extra strength magnets. Large. You can get these out at Walmart for like three bucks or two bucks. They come in a four pack. I have a fifth one just hanging here because I got to start doing those. But there it is. That's the one you want to buy. If you guys do want to do this project for yourself, extra strength magnets, they work perfectly fine. They work good in the colds, wind, everything. They stick up just fine, especially with the crazy glue. All right, now let's get to the giveaway. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, I have three extra pucks here. Maybe I'll put one on the roof, but even if I eliminate one, I still have two extra pucks. So what am I going to do with these? I propose an idea. If we get to 200 followers by April 2nd, okay? The only reason why I won't do April 1st because... You know, it's not an April Fool's joke, so. April 2nd, if we get 200 followers, I will give a puck away. Now, this ain't just no ordinary puck, you know, off, you know, a local police cruiser. This was off a state trooper's car, so there's a little bit of history behind it as well. It's beat up a little bit. I'll probably give away this one. This one's a little bit newer. Obviously, I'll clean it up. It'll be all ready, set to go with the magnet, so all you got to do is when you take it out of the mail, boom, pop it right in your car. So... Yeah, Office State Trooper Car, Massachusetts State Police. This is one of the more nicer ones. I think this one was an unmarked one. So if you do get it, you're going to have a little bit of history behind your car as well. So that's really cool. Um, so if we get 200 followers by April 2nd, you must be an active subscriber. So, so here are the rules. Number one, you must be an active subscriber. Number two, you must like this video. And number three, you must comment done when you've done all those things. And if we reach that milestone, I will come back to this video and I will see who commented done. I will see if you're an active subscriber. I'll see if you liked. And then boom, you'll be entered to win. So there it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this short, short video. Just uh, want to do a little quick update on my uh, rear 
back setup, which I, I, I'm loving a lot. Some people say it's too much putting three pucks. I think it looks good, to be honest with you. I think it makes the car look a lot more beefy, you know, like it has a lot more. It's just, I don't know, I, I like it like that. And then when my low jack comes in, it's, it's going to look awesome. So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to be entered, make sure you're an active subscriber. Like this video, comment done, and I'll see you guys next time.